Getting right into it. Yep. Boom. We don't have much right. time to talk. And we're switching over. Vivi, not Vivi, whoops. Silvio versus Beast. Uh, Silvio and Beast actually have played a decent amount, I imagine, anyway. Being that, Silvio, even though a New York native, now goes to school in Philadelphia. Oh. And Beast, uh, obviously a Philadelphia native himself. Yeah, already Beast had a... We've seen him once already on... Oh. <laughs> he actually starts Good. off the gracious. Oh, and a crit. And a crit. Oh, okay. Takes a lot, a whole lot of percent, but living. Charizard, of course, incredibly heavy. However, this is going to be a matchup where both of these characters certainly um, have the ability to kill each other very, very early. However, one of them requires a little more RNG than the other. Yeah, well, yes. But with that said, um, a lot of the tools in this he has matchup. No MP. Okay, he's a little more MP yeah. now. With all the tools that Hero has in this matchup, certainly zoning out Charizard is a possibility. Not only that. Um, Tools like Side B, non-RNG Reliant, are incredibly good against Charizard. Oh, and that speed oh, and boost. Yeah. Uh, um, Axelrattle, Axelrattle, I do not remember. Axelrattle. Axelrattle um, is an incredibly great tool versus Charizard, because while um, Charizard certainly is a character that we kind of think of as, as rather big, he is incredibly fast. And Axelrattle uh, does a really, really good job. Oh, death? Not quite. So there's a really, really good job of kind of mitigating that advantage that Charizard might have. So we're going to be seeing uh, Silvio, I imagine, a whole lot go for a Celerattle in this matchup. That was a really cute mix up there with the... Uh, wow. <laughs> with the uncharged up B, I think, trying to look for an actual punish. But in the end, Silvio does take that first stock. And this is the first time we've seen any Pokemon other than Charizard, really. Uh, it's, where's he going? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Um, I will also know, one tiny thing that's worth noting is that when Silvio is low on MP, like he is right now, ooh, great recognition from mm -hmm. there. Beast seeing he had no MP, knowing he had to air dodge to the ledge and was ready to punish it. But like Silvio does kind of slow things down when he does not have a lot of MP. Yeah, and I would really have liked to see. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, so one of the things about Beast, and I said this last week when I commentated his set as well, um, yeah, Beast just can just kind of kill you sometimes. Like a whole lot. Like you just kind of die. And Charizard is certainly a character that is very good at just sort of killing you. Nice. Uh, I love that right there. Keep maintaining center stage while forcing Beast into shield there was really good by Silvio. And Silvio has been fairly dominant in this game number one so far. Nice. Ooh. Again, that side B tool is so good versus Charizard. It's a huge hitbox. And Charizard is a character that certainly, even though he is rather fast, has poor immobility and has a tough time getting out of the way there. Right, we're seeing the Ivy Source stay right here. He's not even messing around with Squirtle in the least. We see the Inta swatch off of him. And, yep, here comes the Charizard. It seems like right now Beast is just kind of looking to solo Charizard this, which I can agree with. On the other hand, it does feel like you've mentioned that those options, the side B, ooh, that's so scary. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it feels like Silvio is playing around this Charizard really well at the moment. Yeah, and I want to give a quick reminder here. We're in losers right now. So this is a, you know, winner will take, will move on. Loser goes home. Set. So we're seeing kind of uh, Silvio playing with a little bit of desperation here, even though, oh, nice. That was great recognition, actually. Going for a uh, slightly lower up B, getting uh, a little higher by getting hit by Flamethrower. Oh, oh, wow, the mash. So good, right. but still going to lose the stock. Yeah, good pickup catching the roll right there. And oh, is that oomph or is that? That's psych up. That's psych up. Okay, so I believe that's the one where one hit. Yes, and not a non B move hit. And at this percent, oh, one non B move. That's going to be it. Like, oh, yeah. Do uh, it. Frankly, we're, get, we're getting close to throw percent here. Oh, my gosh. But it's still Charizard so scary. Okay. Goodness gracious. Ooh. That nearly just killed. Ooh, that would have killed. All this rage on Charizard, still scary, scary situation for Silvio. And boy, okay, that that's it. Oh. Not quite. Oh. So that Charizard, uh, the flamethrower, is really good against, especially when the MP is on the lower side because he's forced to up B again and again. Wow, and, and he has no MP. He's done. Wow, yeah, the lack of MP and Beast clutching out that game number one. Um, the recognition was so good, uh, taking that stock there. Hopping over the kaboom initially and realizing you just wasted 40 MP or it's 25 MP. It's one of the, one of the two for kaboom. It's a lot of MP. And Beast says, I just need to get you off stage now. And you can't afford to go low. And Beast, with that, takes game number one. All right. So we're moving into game two here.
He's get, well, we're st style. staying with the same characters, which I definitely mm -hmm. agree with. It was kind of, I feel like there was, <laughs> there were many moments. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, scary situation there. Lacking a jump was Silvio. An excellent two frame by Beast. Oh, these tiny little jabs. I like that sort of difference in game plan. Instead, get in his face and use these quick moves like the jab to just get consistent damage. Just jabs and grabs. That's 78% just from that. And the reactions from Beast have been so uh, good <laughs> so far. Nice. Up tilt. Uh, Beast getting a little bit greedy there. And Silvio is taking full advantage um, with this advantage state here. Ooh. That was some questionable DI, but... We're going to be having Silvio living just barely, but once again, forced to up B, burning a big chunk of MP in the process. Oh, and the recognition there, the reaction time from Beast, excellent. Uh, as soon as Silvio jumped in, that up smash was ready. And we're seeing Beast now kind of switch the tides. Last game, Silvio was ahead for the majority of that game. Beast has been ever so good at adapting this game. I think especially when it comes to the edge guarding. Keeping uh, Silvio and keeping Hero Ledge is not always an easy task. Those big disjointed hitboxes can sometimes be tough to deal with. But Charizard and Beast have done an excellent job so far of doing so. Oh, at this point, look at this stuff. I like the, they're going in a forward air battle, just trying to outspace each other. But the speed boost that Silvio has, although he did just lose it, was helpful for him in playing around that game. No, oh, once again, he's low on MP. Mm. But and, I, and I would love to see some tech chase flare blitches there. I know Beast has it in him there, um, but has has opted uh, on those near tech chases to, to, to not. Wow, oh my gosh, the spacing on that up air was immaculate. And Zoom comes out. Charger okay. with the F tilt. Sour spot, though. But he's still off stage. And this is the sort of situation where, oh, he managed to actually grab the ledge. That's really big for Silvio. But he's still not able to get off the ledge. And now we have three stocks to one. Beast looking absolutely dominant in this game. You were right about these edge guards. They are just cleaning up in a way that game one they weren't. And we're looking right now at a um, situation where, unless Hero gets kind of that um, very notorious sort of comeback factor in the second stock, Beast has been so, so dominant. And the pressure has just been so good. Really, Silvio has had a whole lot of trouble getting out of the corner. We're seeing it again. Looking for a down tilt on the two frame. Not getting it there. Will back would be enough? Still not enough. Ooh, looking for an air. Oh, the... Out of shield punishes are just there for, oh, there for Beast right now. He's, he's still, it feels like Silvio is struggling to find a way to close out this stock. Finally wow. manages to do it with a reversal from the ledge, but we're probably not going to be seeing much Ivy Soar. No. Uh, oh, at this point with the two stock lead, I definitely understand it. Keep it warm. Um, however, uh, Silvio has has started to show here um, an ability to make a comeback. Uh, certainly, 67%, nothing to scoff at. Um, right back and right back to Charizard, we go. Oh, and uh, that bounced just in time for Ivysaur to leave the field. Mm -hmm. um, but, oh, and then he once again gets that Accelerodal. It's going to help out with the recovery at the very least, but... Yes, getting back to stage is huge. Maintaining center stage, an excellent parry by Beast there. However, Silvio gets back to stage, and yeah. uh, uh, Accelerodal is over. However, Beast still forcing the pressure. Accelerodal out once more. And he got it again, man. He's got yeah. an Accelerado so many times here. But, oh, is oh. he going to actually be able to control? Wow! Oh, right. All this right. Is, this, this is, is Hero. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is Carnival character. Oh! He's forced to up B. Really low. Man, just to get to the Love ledge. It. Oh. And the scoop. Perfectly spaced. That was kind of that. Did you see how close that was? Yeah. The spacing on that was just beautiful. We have the accidental rage quit. <laughs> oh. Is that what happened? Uh, well, yeah. you can see. Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, let's. Yeah, okay, unplug this controller. Gotcha. Well, a right. nice a job by Beast there. So, like, did you see how close that was? Yeah. And I really, the empty hop beforehand was so, so good. Um, kind of uh, baiting Sylvia to get back down to the ground, saying, oh, well, Charger's in the air now, so now I can go and land. Well, I'm just trying to go back here, frame by frame. Minus 201 frames. Oh, wow. So. So yeah, I'm Watson. Sorry, I'm trying to learn how to use this system, which so, I so, love. So, so Silvio comes back to stage here, and I see that flamethrower is tough to get around, but Silvio does. The empty out from Beast was really good. If you want to pause right there, yeah, boom. So the empty out there was really good by Beast. It kind of uh, fainted for uh, Silvio to come back to the ground, saying, "Okay, I'm okay." Charizard's in the air. However, 
Beast immediately fast fell as he uh, jumped into the air. Yeah, throws out an aerial right here. Oh, no, there was the... Oh, there was yeah. an aerial being thrown out by no, Sylvia as well. Back, yeah, it was back air. And look at that. Just but barely that almost, in front of him. Look at that distance. That almost got under the hit, too. If you see, Sylvia almost pancaked underneath Charizard up smash. That I know. Yeah, no, it came real close. I mean, here, as we move on, advance this frame by frame. Oh, my gosh. That it did almost just get around it. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, that's the actual point of connection right here. That's that at the end there. You're right about that being such a fantastic bait of just empty hopping. That's something that when when it goes by so fast, it's hard to keep track of and really, you know, be aware and figure.